2023 is going to be conducted on 26 November 2023. So if you are just starting your preparation for CAT 2023, then the first thing that you would like to understand is what is the syllabus. However, it is not very clearly defined by IIMs. For example, for quantitative aptitude section, they mentioned that the questions will be asked from the elementary mathematics or school level mathematics topics. So it becomes very confusing for students to understand what is the exact outline of the syllabus, especially if you are just starting your preparation. Hi everyone, my name is Ronak Shah and in this video, I'm going to give you the complete details about CAT syllabus for each of the three sections that is Quant, LRDI and DRC. I have been preparing students for CAT and other MB entrance exam for last 15 years and I have personally appeared for CAT five times. So I can definitely give you the complete details about the syllabus of each of the subject along with the important topics that you should focus during your preparation. I'll also provide you a month wise and a day wise standable to complete your preparation in about five to six months duration. I have also created one more video on how to start your preparation for CAT 2023. So do check that as well. The link has been provided in the description. So watch this video till the end and don't forget to hit the like button and do share it with your friends. So let's start with the quantitative ability section of CAT exam uh, because you need to cover a long list of topics in this section as compared to the other two sections. So the quantitative aptitude section of CAT exam can be divided in six areas. Uh, the areas are displayed on your screen. The first is basics of maths, then comes numbers, then arithmetic, then algebra, geometry and modern maths. Let's look at topics under each of these areas starting with basics of maths. It is important for you to brush up the basics of maths areas especially if you are from non-mathematics background so that you can be on the same page as other students who are from mathematics background. The basics of maths areas includes basic calculation techniques or you can say Vedic maths then fractions and decimals, thirds and indices, then application of percentage, ratios and averages, understanding basic geometrical shapes and solving equations. So you must brush up these things first uh, as you start your preparation. Talking about numbers module, all the topics are displayed on your screen. Among these topics, the important topics are number line, HCF, LCM, divisibility, uh, remainders, last digit and factorial. So make sure that you are focusing on these topics a little more. The most important area under quantitative ability section is arithmetic. Almost 40% questions in quantitative ability section are from this topics. The topics are uh, displayed on your screen. Um, each and every topic of arithmetic is equally important because you never know from which topic two questions will be asked. So definitely you should cover all these topics that I have displayed on the screen. After arithmetic, the next two most important areas are algebra and geometry. The complete list of uh, topics of algebra are displayed on the screen and each and every topic is very important. Similarly, I have also displayed the geometry topics. So you must cover all these topics uh, to complete your quad uh, section preparation. Talking about modern maths topics, different authors have different opinions about the topics that can be placed under modern maths. For example, some suggest that topics like logarithm and uh, progression can be part of algebra while others feel that they are modern maths topics. So I do consider them under modern mathematics and have displayed a complete list of modern maths topics. Once again, uh, these topics are very important because uh, even in uh, logical reasoning and data interpretation section, uh, questions have been asked from set theory kind of area. So make sure that you are completing all the topics. Now let's look at LRDI section topics. Uh, once again, uh, the syllabus of LRDI section is not clearly defined by the CAT conducting body. So if you look at last 10 years CAT papers, uh, the topics that I have listed on the screen become the important topic. In fact, CAT exam is known to throw a caselet which is based on real life scenario, uh, which can test your thinking capability. For example, you are visiting a burger joint and over there different items take different preparation time. So you maybe ask a question where uh, you may have to find out how much time will it take for a customer to receive its order completely and so on and so forth. Talking about VRC section, reading comprehension is the most important topic. Almost 70% questions are based on reading comprehension in the VRC section. So make sure, sure to focus a little more on that. The complete list of VRC topics based on which questions have been asked in last four to five years are displayed on the screen. Before we look at month-wise and day-wise timetable, I just want to tell you that you can prepare with me uh, through my free lectures that I'm conducting on YouTube 
and on Unacademy Learning App. To get all the updates about these lectures, make sure that you are part of my Telegram channel that I have displayed on the screen. Uh, you can also find the link in the description. In case if you want to prepare in more structured way under my guidance, then you can enroll yourself for Unacademy Plus or Iconic courses. Once again, I have provided this course links in the description. You can also check the prices and you can enroll for that using my code chart. We are starting batches every month. For example, this month on 15, we are starting a new batch uh, where uh, LRDI subject will be taught by me. So you can start your journey with us in any month. And uh, some uh, amazing offers are also going on. So enroll for plus or iconic subscription using my code chart 10. On the screen, I have displayed the benefits that you get when you enroll for plus or iconic courses. For example, you get live lectures, recorded uh, lectures. Along with that, you get test series, study material, GDPI prep doubt solving and many other features so definitely it will be value for money so go for plus or iconic subscription using my code charten in case if you wish to prepare under my guidance Let's talk about a month wise and a day wise timetable for someone who is pursuing his or her graduation i'm assuming here that you have uh, about six to seven hours of your college let's say from morning 9 a.m to uh, evening 4 p.m and you are left with about five to six uh, hours of quality time for cat and other studies right so the month wise timetable can be as i have displayed on the screen and this will help you complete your syllabus in about five months similarly the day wise timetable once again i am displaying on the screen and uh, you can devote about uh, two to three years every day from monday to saturday for quantitative aptitude section and uh, that includes uh, attending the sessions and practicing questions which is very important and apart from that what you can do is you can alternatively prepare for vrc and lrdi by spending another one or two hours every day so this is how you can prepare your uh, daily schedule and uh, make sure that you are spending one or two hours daily for your uh, college studies and uh, that will ensure that you are uh, you will not require to cut off yourself during the college exams so this uh, schedule will definitely help you in getting well prepared for CAD exam as well as maintaining your college studies I hope you would have found this video informative. Do let me know in the comment section. I will be waiting for your comments and stay tuned for more videos from me.